Okay, so this one is sort by height. Some people are standing in a row in the park. There are trees between them which cannot be moved and we need to rearrange the people so the heights are in non-descending order. So ascending order <laughs> uh, without moving the trees. So minus one are the trees and then we have the heights. So first of all, we would need to filter the trees out. And because we know the tree is minus one, we just need to filter out um, minus one. Well, we need to filter the people out. So we'll do that with const um, filtered peeps. And a is our array. So uh, a.filter element. And then what do we want to filter? Well, we want to say if the elements is not equal to minus one. I believe that'll do it. So console log um, filtered people. Oh, oh, come on, I can't see that. That's such an actual horrible thing. Let's just say s. Console log s. Um, and we should get nothing. Okay. Elements. What have I done here? If element is not, have I done this the wrong way around again? Yes, I have. Oh. Okay, so if the element is not equal minus one, then we now. However, um, what we can do is I'm just trying to think. I'll come back to that. Right, and we now we want to sort uh, the people. So we do const sorted is equal to s dot sort and then we do a and b and then we want to do believe if it's in ascending order it's b minus a and then we want to let's just return sorted and hopefully Nope, they're descending. So it's A minus B. A minus B for ascending. Right, and now what we can do is if we put const sorted is equal to A dot filter element, if the element is not equal to one. Um, I believe I have to put in an if statement. Oh, one sec. <laughs> My aunt's and the dog just rang a bell. He rings a bell and I let him outside. Right, I'm back. Um, I believe if we put this in an if statement here, so if element is not equal to one, we want to return I'm going to, have to do it this way first and then I can go for it. Const sorted. And that one's there. And let, we want to return. It will be this. However, it won't be exactly that because that will be element. Element or sort A, A minus B. I, element dot sort is not a function. If 
three return element or so, and then that's because element is that. So no, that won't work. What am I doing? I'm overcomplicating this so much. You, you forget everything which I've just said. Right, element, if the element is not equal to minus one, that's what we want to return. And now we want to sort it, goodness me. And now we want to sort it in ascending. And then if we return the sorted, it's going to basically sort it and filter out all the minus ones. Yes. Okay, well that took too long. Okay, now we have everything, we have the people in ascending order and we've taken the trees out. What we want to do is basically put the trees back in. And a way in how we can do that is we do, uh, I believe, um, return. And we can do it through a map. So if we do um, A, sorry, A, we need to shut the door now. A dot map. What do you want? Not feeding time yet. And oh, you're a very distracting little guy. You are. Um, a dot map. Um, oh, I've literally lost it now. Right, where are we? Sorted. Right, putting the array through the filter, we're taking the minus ones out. Sort. Now they're in ascending order. We need to put the minus one back into the sorted array. So that would mean we need to compare the trees are always the same. So we need to map through the array and if it hits minus one, return minus one. However, if it hits an actual person, we want to put the we want to change that element and replace it with a um, with a new element from sorted. Yes. Okay. So yeah, we want to map through sorted. No, we map through a and. What we want to do is if the element is equal to minus one, the element, I'm sure I can do that like this. If the element is equal to minus one, question mark. Then we want to return minus one or else we want to um, sorted dot shift and that will take the first element from the sorted array and pump it out of map where there isn't a minus one. So it will eventually loop through the sorted. So there's nothing left in sorted, but all of them elements have been pushed sort of, or pumped into the, um, the, the map array where minus one isn't there. However, whenever there is a minus one, it will basically put minus one there so the trees wouldn't have moved but we've now pumped out um, a sorted um, array of the people I'm, I'm, 
pretty sure that's that. Yes, perfect. So just very quickly, um, yeah, yeah. So sorted, we're filtering the, um, the original array. And we're, we're pushing out a new array, which is sorted. And it's going through each element and where the element is not a minus one, that's what's going to be pushed out. If it's a minus one, that isn't going to be pushed out. Once that's done that, we're actually sorting the um, that array in ascending using the sort method. And then here we're returning the map. We're going through the original array. And we're saying when the element is equal to minus one, then we want that value or we want that element to still be minus one because the trees can't move. And then what sorted.shift is doing is the first value in um, sorted array. So the first value is, um, let's do it on here. Yeah, the first value would be 150. So 150 from that sorted array will be sort of pushed into, um, where 150 originally was, but then uh, 160 uh, from the sorted array, because that would be the next one, because the shift would have taken the 150 out, so now the zero index will be 160. Um, it will say, oh, okay, well, the next element is 190. This doesn't equal to minus one. However, what we need to return is sorted.shift, and that element will be 160. And the next one be 170, 170, and then it will be like minus one. Okay, well then let's push out minus one. So yeah, that's how you would do sort by height.